guys, here we go. We got everything we need. I'm pretty sure this time. Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the old through hole, then we're going to put in a new through hole. We're gonna run the three-fourths bilge pump hosing, uh, hose, and then um, we're gonna connect it to the pump, and then I'm gonna do the wiring. Um, this is a automatic and a, a manual um, switch that will work for this project. So I'm gonna also run it to a switch. So I'll show you guys that too. Sorry the boat's shaky. <laughs> but it's beautiful out right now. It's really nice. So it's gonna be a good day. Right, so there's the old through hole with the uh, well it looks like it's been rigged a little bit let's zoom in there yep that doesn't look right <laughs> so we'll go ahead and change that I'm not moving the boats moving <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah we'll change that out all right so we have the shelves here we're gonna go in and way over there that is far so I'm gonna try and set the camera up right there that looks okay the boats moving a bit so sorry for the motion of the ocean <laughs> all right I'm just getting the right size here I think now I'm crawling in. Oh, that's going to be hard. I might have to maybe do some weird left hand thing here. Ooh, that's on there. Oh, there we go. Yay! I'm so glad that loosened up. Let me see if I can get it with my hand now. Oh yeah, there we go. Wonder if the hose, oh yeah. The hose just comes right out. I don't know what the hell that was. It's coming off by hand until I get to that rubber stuff. We'll see. on that rubber part or whatever is on there uh, 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 sorry guys this is a little rough uh, whoo my arm is killing me <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. There. And this is kind of like the stuff that was holding it in there. It's weird. All right. So I'm going to go on the outside. I'll have D maybe knock that with a little mallet nice and easy though and we'll get that out all right here we go so i've got the marine adhesive sealant 4000 right with the uv just in case doesn't really matter but uh i've got the through hole the new through hole right there uh pvc i'm not sure what it's made out of probably pvc all right, let's do this. Here we go. All right, pop it out. I'm 
floating around here. That ain't budging. <laughs> Hold on, guys. One eternity later. There. It seems to be coming out. There we go. All right. That's not a bad through hole. <laughs> I might keep that. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to clean up this area. Just give me a second to gather some tools. Okay, so now I got my through hole. It's a little bit smaller than that hole right there. But that should be okay because I'm just gonna put a good bit of this on there. And once it tightens down, as you can see, there's a thread right here. Once it tightens down on that, there should be no problem. And it will compress from this tip right here to the, to the nut coming down in between these layers of uh, fiberglass right there. Boom, we got this going. I'm gonna try and hold this with my legs here. And uh, I'm gonna puncture this. Put the cap there. Seal it in there. All right, so because because I know how thick it is, I'm going to put it up here a good bit, all right? Okay, I want to put that cap on there. Hopefully that stays good until the next job. Nice and tight there. All right, okay. Now I'm gonna put it in the hole. Here, hold on. You ready? purpose so get pushed away from the bow there that's gonna be nice oh hold on hold on I need to uh I'm gonna use this okay all right go Is it tight all the way? All right, you wanna grab that wrench? All right, here, hold on. I'm gonna come inside and I'll show you guys from the inside. Here we go. That's how she looks right now from the inside. That doesn't look bad. Sorry, I'm gonna try and get this there. I'm gonna get in there with my hand. You got the little black thing in there? Yeah, use the corner of it to get into those two notches. Uh, to what? To get into those two notches. I see you turn it. I'm going to turn it. Okay, got it. That's pretty, you got it on there pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to just crank it down just a little bit more. And we should be done. How's that look out there? I think that's got to be good enough. Right there. Alright, cool. 
we did it. There we are. Now we're gonna run the hose. New bilge pump uh, uh, through hole, right there. So we're feeding the three-fourths bilge hose through the wall. And, excuse the mess, because this is how this works when you gotta work on a boat. Um, and so, there we go. We're running it right here, like that, to the new through hole. Bam. Cutting it to size. Yay. Almost there. There. Boom shakalaka. <gasps> you cut the wrong side. Shut up. I'm just kidding. Alright. <sighs> Boom. I know it's far, but it's what we got. Because there's already another pump in there. So now we're going to connect it to the bilge pump again. Here we go. Did the hose fold or is it just a weird cut? Weird cut, I think. Okay. Oh shit. You grab it. Right there in the middle, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. That looks all right. All right. There we go, guys. Now we're gonna set it down in there. Right in front of the engine and then the other bilge pump is that way a little bit in the center of the bilge underneath the living quarters. Got the three wires, the positive, negative, and the auto. The brown is the auto. So that will make it run off the float. The red will make it run as you hit the switch and the black is obviously the ground. So I'm gonna run it along these wires right here, up, over, and along this cluster of wires all the way over here through that hole and into the next room where I'm gonna start an instrument panel. All right, are those the wires? All right, hold on, there we go. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna zip time to all this stuff here and it should be good to go, all right. All right, so I'm crammed in the engine room. I've got, I'm holding the camera with my legs. Whoop. All right, so I've got this part. I've got this little guy right here. I measure about where I want it. It's about right there. That should be good. Right there. I'm gonna twist it up there. All right. All right, let me point that up, there. Okay, so I've got this red wire here. I'm gonna shove it in there, just like so. And then I'm gonna get the pliers here. I'm gonna smash it down. Got nice and good there. Nice and smashed. Alright. Now I've got that connection. I'm sorry guys. I know this is not the best angle. And then I'm gonna use the lighter because I need to water keep this waterproof. And I'm going to light this bad boy up. Yaman! 
that should be good. Just like that. Woo, that's hot. <laughs> All right. There's the positive. And then let me get the automatic out. There we go. All right. I'm going to bring that one up. Oh, it's still hot. All right, there we go. I'm going to shove it in here. Oh, it frayed on me a little. There we go. Round two. There. Hold it in place. The pliers again. I'm going to slam that. Oh, dang. Well, that's no good. I'm going to wrap that up with some tape. Just because it split a little bit on me. Uh, Alright. Then I get the lighter. Heat shrink that bad boy. Keep going. There. And that's how the waterproof connectors go. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to string these up because the ground's going to run a different way. The ground's going to run over here and straight to the these right here so that will work okay so I'm gonna slip some I'm gonna wait till the helicopters are gone so I'm twisting the ends I've got the automatic and the uh, manual switch wires ran here so I'm just gonna throw just gonna twist them here I'm going to throw this on like that, bam, get another one on so I don't forget. The way I'm going to keep track is with this red zip tie, because all I had was black uh, wires, it's just the same, it's just a different color. Alright, so I'm going to do that, get my tires. there I'm gonna crimp it down just like that nice and tight okay so now we know we can't use those the way we want to all right so I'm gonna slide that up and over there now this also requires a lighter I'm just gonna do that real quick nice and clean boom there's one those are all power wires, by the way, so it's not like I'm just doing something crazy here. None of those are negative. Negatives already ran to the battery. Slide that on there. Clamp it down. Just like that. Drop this up. Nice and quick and easy. And it's sealed in there. Nice. Alright, I'm going to slide this zip tie back. This is the only active wire right now that's plugged in, but nothing is turned on, so... Hopefully it does on its own. I'm going to spin that. Slide this on. Like that. Oh, hold on. Whoop. It's like I said, I usually forget to do this one. Here we go. Slide that on again. Grab the pliers, whatever. Clamp it down nice and good. I'm done with that, done with that. Slide this up. Just like so. And go to town on it with a lighter. Let them cool down just for a second there. I have my knee pad. 
Yeah, I got one of those. You jealous? Okay. Right, I'm gonna need that flathead screwdriver. Alright, so I've got this switch here, alright? So it has two positives, or three. Right, so. It switches on in multiple different ways. And this right here, all the way out. Take that little screw out. Take this one out too. So power is going to go to the to the middle wire there, or to the middle prong right here, and then it will give power to whichever side the switch is on. I don't know. This switch was weird at first. It just took everything. It's really solid, hard. I don't know. Take this one out. All right. So I'm gonna put one on here first. Let's switch this around, just like that. I'm gonna stick that little tiny screw in there. And just give it a spin with my thumb there to lock it in. Almost there, guys. Oh, there. Oh, that bent a little. Alright, now I'm gonna get the other one. I'm gonna do the very same on this side, okay? That's probably not gonna work. Oh no. Come on. Oh, I knew it. Why would it do anything I needed? There we go. I tried, guys. Alright, there we go. There it goes. All right, we got to, uh, it's working, so it's wired right. So we just got to tighten that because that leaked a little bit, I just saw it. So, all right. Okay. guys so we got it all ran it's working to test it out we might pull some water out and dump it down dump it down uh, in the bilge there some fresh water and uh, test out the automatic float apart from that it's time to get some tacos and uh, we're gonna tighten this thing because that came up so we're gonna tighten that down we're gonna put some uh, some caulking on there keep it from leaking uh, apart from that I'm gonna enjoy the day eat some tacos Woo! what a good time all right here we go got it nice and uh, watertight and everything um, what happened was though we did run into something the bolt on this side was uh, 
corroded, so we ha I had to cut it off and throw a new one in. Luckily, you got a bag of nuts and uh, bolts right here. Always got an extra set of those, but it looks good now. There we go. Nailed it. Beautiful day here with the clouds coming in. Just kidding. Wish it was still sunny. Taco time. Boom, got the tacos going right now. Boom. Frying them with the meat in and everything. With a nice view. Like that. Woo! On beach time. We got it going. Alright. Signing out. That's it. We did it.